Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. Now I was reminded of this by watching Mr. Wilton's video yesterday about the Klaus Donna artifact that he found that seemed to represent the belt stars of Orion and the Orion Nebula. And I found some stuff I had bookmarked and I found another site that might confirm uh, what I was trying to uh, do for a previous video that I never made. But we are flying into the ancient Mayan site of Edzna. And it just kind of blows me away how many of these Mayan pyramidal complexes are actually in the jungles of Mexico and Central America. But here you can see one that obviously some work has been done on, some restoration work. Uh, the jungle swallows these sites up and they're kind of lost and I'm sure a lot more of them will be found. But recent research based on the Mayan creation myth, Mayan glyphs, and what they were actually recording there is a theory on what these Mayan main pyramidal uh, complexes represent, and I think it's a very solid one. Here you see the large pyramid, the main pyramid, with two equally sized pyramids down here, and they form a triangle. And there is a structure here in the middle, and going over to this diagram here, they say that this is a representation of Rigel, all in the tack and safe. Here you see Rigel, the very large star, with two equally sized stars, all in the tack and safe, with the Orion Nebula right in the middle. And going back to Google Earth, you see the large one here, two equally sized pyramid, smaller pyramids here, and a structure right in the middle. And they say this represents the Orion Nebula. Um, in ancient times, there was a fire and smoke coming off here, representing creation. There is a very deep meaning to the Orion Nebula in ancient cultures, such as the Egyptians and the Mayans, and they seem to be inheritors of a lost previous knowledge. And here, I think, is a pretty obvious representation of the Orion Nebula. And I just want to do a little reading here. This comes from a book. It says, when the maze gods arrived at the place of the new creation, they sprang up from the crack in the back of the cosmic turtle. And the turtle has been association with, associated with creation myths uh, coming from the Native Americans. And I just think that evolved northwards from the Mayans and what they inherited. It says, the Maya saw this turtle as the three stars that we call Orion's belt, and they also saw the crack in the turtle's back as the ball court. Now back in 2012, there was a lot of videos about the Mayan ball court, and they said it represented the galactic center, but doing a lot of reading on this lately, um, I realized that Orion's belt is represented by the ball court in all these Mayan uh, places that these pyramids are. It says, once reborn, the maze gods directed four old gods to set up the hearth of creation to center the new order. And it says here, this hearth consisted of three stones, three throne stones, one in the form of a jaguar that was set up by the paddlers at the place called Naho Khan, or the first five sky, or the house, house five sky. And it says here, the Maya saw this hearth as the triangle of stars below Orion's belt, with the Orion Nebula as the fire. Today we call these stars Alnitak, Safe, and Rigel. And it says the gods set up this hearth on August 13th, 3114 BC, the first day of the New Age of the Mayans. And that correlates with the very first dynasties coming from Egypt and it says that maybe this was set up right after some sort of flood or disaster on earth so that is a little bit of that story and the cosmic or the turtle of creation here is a look at the mound at cahokia and it's just my theory or hunch that this mound uh, kind of sprang out of the Mayan creation myth and the turtle because I think this pyramid is actually in the shape of a turtle with the head being down here at the bottom. That is just my theory. And it said the paddlers in Orion. And here you see uh, some petroglyphs and this is in the boundary waters all the way up on the border of Canada. And this large man here represents Orion. The seven dashes represent the Pleiades in relation to where they would be to Orion. And here you see the boats or the paddlers. And this is, uh, I believe this comes from the same creation myth or the story from the Mayans. And this cross up here on the top, I believe represents Cygnus. 
uh, people really haven't done proper studies on these uh, petroglyphs and really, you know, truly analyze what they truly mean, I will leave some links below. But I think it is a very solid theory that these Mayan pyramids were set up to represent the three stars in Orion that set up the triangle with the Orion Nebula in the middle. Why? Because the Mayans tracked the Orion Nebula. I made a video uh, from Copan that shows glyphs, how they track the Orion Nebula. It is directly associated with their creation myth. And I just think there's a whole bunch of other things that tell us that that is a valid theory. Hope you thought this was interesting. You have a nice day.